my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support if you are a returning subscriber i really appreciate you much i don't take you for granted but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload so guys in our today's video we are going to be sipping some juice grab a glass of wine a glass of water a glass of juice just like me some popcorns or some pringles anything that will keep you company so that you can enjoy our today's video so today's video is going to be very very interesting guys very juicy spicy <laughs> and you have got a lot to learn from this story especially you ladies who are searching for love let it be on online dating apps or even in real life you have got something to learn from this story but not only that guys this story is very very unique and by watching it till the end you are going to agree with me that it is so unique so if you're someone who enjoys love stories also stick here till the end so let me tell you what it is all about <laughs> before that guys let us sip some juice and sip whatever you have in your hands so dear friends our this story will be about my home girl <laughs> who goes by the name of Zubeda, a lady from Tanzania who found love with a Swedish guy on a social media platform. I'm going to mention that social media platform where this couple met. But as you listen to this story, can you please guess in the comments below which social media platform you think this couple met? But it is a social media platform that I have never believed that people can find love there but this couple found love there guys it is what it is <laughs> and also guys the reason why i told you that this story is a unique one zubeda is a muslim lady from a muslim family but she found love with a swedish guy who is a christian <laughs> I know right now you are asking yourself a lot of questions how did it happen <laughs> how were they able to get married provided that she is from a muslim family and the guy is from a christian family how did it go you want to know everything in details and that is why i am here guys to share with you everything to answer all the questions because i know guys especially you who have found love let it be on online dating apps or even in real life you are in interracial relationships stories like these help you a lot to answer your questions like how did they manage long distance relationship challenges what kind of challenges they faced how long did it take them to get married how long did it take them to meet in person after meeting in that social media platform was the guy asking for nude photos were they talking about you know sex talking <laughs> you want to know all that did she give the goodies at first time when they met <laughs> all those are your questions by telling you this story you get to learn a lot of things that will help you in your relationship that you are in right now or in your relationship that you are about to start because you are an online dating app searching and eventually you're gonna find the one so you need to know how to go about it how is it like to be in an interracial relationship how things start till you get married that is why i am here guys so dear friends we all know that you can't start a new relationship if you are in a relationship and that is why it is good for us to know was a swedish guy the first love of zubeda or she had some relationships in the past and what was her experience so that you can understand the whole story so friends as zubeda was sharing her story with me she told me bella yes i was in a relationship in the past with a tanzanian guy 
and our relationship was for almost three years but this guy had a problem but in the end i came to realize that he is not going to change it is how he is and this problem was that yes we know men likes women <laughs> it's normal but this guy exaggerated the whole thing because he was in a relationship with Zubeda but still kept on entertaining other ladies not only that problem guys this guy had an ex and this ex-girlfriend used to come so close to this guy that made Zubeda to be insecure he could entertain his ex and no woman is going to accept such kind of behavior from a boyfriend even if it was me <laughs> i could not tolerate that a guy who entertains his ex a guy who entertains all ladies <laughs> i am for all <laughs> no guys because he will make a lady feel very insecure if he's doing like that he'll give you more reasons to be insecure all the time thinking that maybe the guy is betraying me because he is always around women he always entertains ladies so this became a very big problem zubeda tried to talk to this guy that stop entertaining your ex stop entertaining women because you are mine and it makes me feel bad it makes me feel insecure but the guy refused to change and that was the reason for their breakup so guys zubeda tells us that after the breakup it was not easy for her remember guys a relationship of three years it is not something that you're going to forget overnight no because <laughs> you've been with this person in love and you have made a lot of plans so when things goes wrong you get disappointed so she was very disappointed at her lowest time and was thinking of leaving the country like when you are in your trial times you talk to god so zubeda was talking to god that i wish to leave this country i wish to go away and start a new life outside of tanzania so that i cannot see this guy so it's like she wanted to run away from the ex-boyfriend because these people used to hang out in the same places <laughs> so when zubeda goes out meet this same guy that they broke up and it could hurt her so much so she really wished to get out of the country and i think god heard her prayers so friends after the breakup zubeda was single <laughs> and one day she was on that social media platform received a message from a strange guy this strange guy is that swedish guy <laughs> yeah so this swedish guy introduced himself as william told Zubeda I would like to be your friend I have love for Africa actually I am planning to visit Africa but the country in particular was Kenya so the guy wanted to go to Africa because he has never been to Africa and he has this love for Africa so told Zubeda can we please be friends Zubeda was okay with it because she never had a clue that it could lead them to something serious she only thought of no more friendship so they continued chatting and they were chatting normally on that social media platform nothing like i love you or i want to be with you no guys <laughs> oh i want to marry you no nothing like that they were only talking about life in sweden and life in africa so zubeda could tell him how life is in zanzibar and the guy could tell her how life is in sweden so guys things continued like that them chatting about normal things till one month passed and this guy started talking of having feelings with zubeda <laughs> also asked for zubeda's phone number <laughs> zubeda tells us that still could not believe this guy what he was telling her but exchanged phone numbers was like we will see let me keep on chatting with this guy where it is going to lead us but she did not fall in love with this guy <laughs> she told me bella i wanted to meet this guy and then believe but believing only in his words 
no this teaches us guys do not believe a guy before you confirm do not fall in love with a guy before you see this guy's actions if he is real not only words so that is what Zubeda did she says that she did not want to fall in love with this guy just because of his words but wanted to meet him in person and then believe everything so after exchanging their phone numbers they started talking they could only chat and she tells me they were using viber <laughs> also this guy was kind of avoiding video calls and the reason is later on told Zubeda that i was scared maybe if i talk to you you will not like my voice or when i talk to you because of my english you will not like me those were his reasons but Zubeda did not stop there after a guy refusing the video call she wanted to confirm she wanted to know if this guy is telling the truth or not and guys we should learn from this I've been telling you all the time that please don't just believe a guy just because he's telling you like this you fall in love you attach yourself and think that he is your boyfriend if you see something is still not convincing you keep searching for the truth so that you can confirm so that you can be at peace with this man don't just relax and be like no even if i'm seeing a red flag i'm going to ignore it because i am in love already so guys Zubeda did like a checkup on this guy without a guy knowing that he is being checked <laughs> that is really funny so she went on other social media platform and started looking at this guy's photos even of the past <laughs> to look for something that will tell her that the guy lied somewhere but she did not find anything that gave her doubts so that was a very good start so friends they kept on chatting on viber and after one month they started talking of how they are going to meet which is very very important i've been telling you if you are chatting with a guy online make sure you talk of how you guys are going to meet and when so they discussed on how they are going to meet and this guy was ready to go to tanzania zanzibar to meet zubeda but luckily guys where Zubeda was working came an opportunity to go to Sweden to study for one month so it was a one month course so when Zubeda heard about that opportunity she grabbed it and went to Sweden to study for that one month course <laughs> she was very very happy arrived in sweden and communicated with william that i am in sweden they were both happy and started planning on how they are going to meet because where zubeda was studying for that one month course it was a different city from where william was living so guys they planned on how they are going to meet for the first time and agreed that it is Zubeda who will go to this guy's place this is very very important guys if this guy was a liar if he was one of those guys that are married or they have relationships but they just want to waste other women's time this guy could have told Zubeda I am coming to where you are studying we are going to meet in that city William invited Zubeda at his place because he had nothing to hide from her he was a clean guy so friends Zubeda tells us that though she accepted to go visit William in the city where he stays she was very scared because was thinking what if this guy is bad what if he kidnaps me <laughs> what if things don't go well and she did not tell anyone that she was going to meet William another tip guys if you had not seen this guy's life with your eyes like confirm there is no need to give news to people that i am going to visit my fiance i am going to visit the man of my life <laughs> you don't know this guy's life how can you give the news to others be first sure of the guy's life and then tell others <laughs> yeah so Zubeda was very scared but never shared the news to anyone 
took a train and went to where William stayed. In the train, she was like, God protect me. Also, something that gave her energy, she told me, is because William was a single dad and Zubeda knew about it when they started talking. William told Zubeda that I am a single dad. He had a kid with a Kenyan lady before. Zubeda knowing that William is a single dad, he is a good father, gave her energy that he might be a good person god protect me i hope my intuitions are good so she arrived met william in person was so so happy william was happy too and from there she tells me that bella that is when i saw that things are real this guy is real and i started falling in love with him after meeting him guys <laughs> So they enjoyed time together. Right now, I know you wanna know how did they enjoy good times together? How, Bella, how? <laughs> did Zubeda share her goodies for the first time? <laughs> Let us take some juice. I am coming. So guys, yes, Zubeda shared her goodies for the first time. She tells me that, Bella, I did that cause my heart told me that he is the one. Cause staying with him, he was so caring, he was very loving, a full package. <laughs> everything that Zubeda ever wanted in a man, William had everything all boxes tick 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 that is why he was given the goodies for the first time <laughs> so guys let's remember that zubeda's stay in sweden was one month she was there for the cause <laughs> but took advantage of that to meet william so they used to meet each other every weekend for that one month and when it ended zubeda returned to zanzibar so after Zubeda returning to Zanzibar, she tells us that she really wanted to break that long distance relationship because she did not believe in long distance relationship and wanted things to go fast so that they can get married. And guys, I totally understand Zubeda for not believing in long distance relationships. That is why I've been telling you, you are chatting with a guy, please talk of how you are going to meet at least in three months of chatting you should decide when are you going to meet because a guy who only chats with you for a year two years you should know this is the bare truth he is cheating on you <laughs> stop all this thing of chatting and chatting and chatting without knowing when are you going to meet this is for your own good it's not that i want to break your relationships no guys <laughs> so guys after zubeda returning to zanzibar their relationship continued it became even more stronger talking every day making video calls we should take another tip here you ladies who are on online dating apps searching for love or you have found love you are chatting with these guys don't take excuses from a guy who spends three days four days a week without talking to you and tell you that i am busy i couldn't look for you that is only an excuse a guy who loves you will look for you a guy who loves you won't spend a day without talking to you because it will make him feel bad not that he only wants to call you to make you happy no it is because talking to you makes him feel good and if he does not talk to you he feels bad <laughs> if you are his addiction <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna talk to you every day and that is what William did with Zubeda they could talk every day let's learn from this it's not that guys I'm telling you like this to break your relationships no I want you guys to date the right man not stay in the relationships that will end badly that will end in tears like I said in my last video <laughs> So guys, in their long distance relationship, I also asked Zubeda, were you guys talking of sex? <laughs> Was this guy asking you for your nude photos, to see your boobs, to see what your mama gave you? 
<laughs> wanna see the goodies tell you that i miss the goodies so i would like to see a photo of your goodies was he telling you like that <laughs> zubeda really laughed but told me the truth guys and i'm very happy to come across a lady like zubeda a lady who is very honest a real lady guys so she said that bella we were talking about sex as we were in the long distance relationship after returning to zanzibar we could sex talking you know as a couple but i had never sent my nude photos and he never asked but to keep things spicy we could sex talk <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of a requested video from one of my subscriber this lady wanted me to talk about you know the goodies part if you are in a relationship is it okay to talk about you know is it okay to talk <laughs> i am preparing that video it is coming so zubeda used to do that but no nude photos guys <laughs> so another question that i asked zubeda and i really know that you want to know <laughs> is if william was spoiling her like sending her money gifts when they were in that long distance relationship so again zubeda was so real with me thank you girl <laughs> bella yes my boyfriend used to spoil me sometimes he could send money to me and tell me enjoy your weekend and other times he could want to send money to me i could refuse and tell him i am okay and the reason why i could refuse is to show him that i can take care of myself because zubeda used to work he also advised that if you are chatting with a guy let it be that you met on online dating apps or you met even in real life please don't always talk about your problems because that is when you make a guy see that maybe you are very poor you are after his money so to avoid that you have to show responsibility you have to stop talking about your problems it's very very important and i agree with her i've been telling you guys don't ask men money on online dating apps we can see this thing of send me money have affected a lot of african countries on the dating apps these countries have been blacklisted so ladies who are genuine from those countries cannot even join those dating apps to look for love due to send me money so guys you have to stop don't ask men money on online dating apps don't entertain that stop talking of your problems so william is a good guy he was taking care of zubeda by sending her money tell her that have a nice weekend you know enjoy your weekend which is very good guys it's good <laughs> but don't ask let a man send money to you without being asked and sometimes guys you can just refuse his money because some guys will tell you i want to send you money some of them might be even testing you to see how you are going to respond it's very important guys so guys as they kept on chatting william brought this idea of applying for a resident permit for zubeda so that she can go and live with him in sweden but zubeda told him that it is not going to be possible my parents are not going to allow that we have to make things official and then i am going to come and live with you as your wife and that is when they started talking about the wedding because zubeda couldn't stand a long distance relationship william asked how are the process if i have to marry you remember zubeda is from a muslim family she told me the dad is muslim and the mother is christian as you know guys if you're from africa the kids follow the dad's side <laughs> so as they were planning to get married that is when challenges arises one of it was the bride price we all know that paying for the bride price to white men it's not their culture and the second challenge 
for Zubeda to get married, the guy was supposed to convert and become a Muslim. That is what Zubeda's dad wanted. He said, if he cannot convert, he should forget about you. There is not going to be any wedding. So guys, Zubeda talked to William and told him about the converting thing to become a Muslim. For William, it wasn't a problem, thank God. Because William was so in love with Zubeda, he could not accept anything to come in between them that will stop them being together. So he accepted and told Zubeda that, don't worry, I am going to convert, become a Muslim, if it is what it takes to be with you. What a great love! <laughs> this is so beautiful, guys. And men like William are so, so rare. Don't worry, guys, you can find your William too one day. So the converting thing was okay, and then came the bride price. At first, he was like, my love, I hope me paying for the bride price it's not that I am buying you. But they explained to him what it means in a Muslim culture if you pay for the bride price. And it is that if you pay for the bride price in a Muslim culture, it's not that you are buying a woman. No, guys, if you're going to pay for the bride price in a Muslim culture, like the way Zubeda explained to me, that bride price goes to the bride-to-be, not to the parents. And if she asks for money as the bride price, it means that money will help her when the husband maybe is away so that she doesn't get any problem when the husband is away. Or she can ask for the mattress, the bed, but these things will belong to the bride-to-be. Those are her properties. It is not that the money paid will go to the parents or the things given as the bride price from the groom will go to the parents, not at all. So he accepted to pay for the bride price after being explained. This guy is very, very understanding. So guys, before I forget about the bride price, William paid for the bride price before marrying Zubeda and that bride price, Zubeda told me that she decided to open a business in Zanzibar and that business still now brings income to her every month. That was a very intelligent thing that Zubeda did. We know how important financial freedom is to a woman. So guys, Zubeda tells us that they started chatting on that social media platform 2015 and then 2015 August, she went to Sweden, then returned back to Zanzibar after 11 months, that was 2016, that is when everything was settled and William was ready to marry her, went down to Tanzania, Zanzibar for the wedding. So guys, it's the wedding time, wedding bells. <laughs> yeah, they got married guys, everyone was very happy, Zubeda was happy, William was so happy, the parents were very happy. It was a very beautiful celebration. So guys, after the wedding, William returned to Sweden, applied for the resident permit for Zubeda, and when it was out, Zubeda went and joined her husband. They are living a happily ever after, guys, and they're such a beautiful couple. So guys, I asked Zubeda, what are the things that your husband enjoys as marrying you? Because <laughs> you are from different culture and guys in Tanzania, ladies from Zanzibar, there is a video I did I was talking about Tanzanian women. <laughs> I told you some tribes, ladies are given sex education and Zanzibar is among of them where Zubeda is coming from. <laughs> so she told me that her husband enjoys the massage and scrub because one of the sex education is that <laughs> when you get married, sometimes you have to give a scrub and a massage to your husband, also bathe him. <laughs> I know to some of you who are new to this, you are going to laugh a lot. Yes, you take your man to the bathroom, tell him to stand or sit, then apply the soap on him, <laughs> then bathe him. After bathing him, clean him, apply oil, just like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is the treatment that men are supposed to get if you marry someone from Zanzibar or from Tanga, Tanzania. <laughs> Those are the treatments, guys. <laughs> so 
So Zubeda's husband enjoys that a lot. <laughs> also guys, another question that I asked Zubeda was when her husband found her on that social media platform, was he looking for an African lady or it just happened? She told me that yes, William was single and after looking at my photos, on that social media platform, he felt like I was a decent lady. And that is when he started chatting with me. What do we learn from here guys? Especially you ladies who are still single please be very careful of the photos you post on the social media platform it is very very important because those same same photos can attract a good man or same same photos can attract bad men so comes a big question which social media platform did this couple meet i know you have been waiting they met on instagram guys instagram i have never believed that people can find love on instagram but for zubeda it happened guys god did it for her <laughs> or for them because <laughs> they found each other <laughs> also guys there is this important advice that zubeda gave to you ladies who are interested in interracial marriages she said please get to know a guy you are dating his real lifestyle so that you see if you like it or not to avoid disappointments to avoid regrets because you might find that the guy's lifestyle it is not what you expected <laughs> yes guys expectations i've talked of this already too so talk to him get to understand because even zubeda used to talk to william about life they used to discuss this before they got married william used to ask zubeda how do you define life how do you define luxury do you like expensive things he wasn't stupid he was asking all that to see what Zubeda expects from him, the kind of lifestyle. So after talking and agreeing together that they are going to live this kind of lifestyle because this is how William lives, they continued their relationship. So you too ask the guy you are dating very well to know his lifestyle, try your best guy. I know the long distance can be a problem, but please, try as you can to confirm try as you can to understand this guy very well to avoid disappointments remember if you're to get married to this guy you are going to be living in a foreign country where you don't know anyone this brings me to another question i asked zubeda about the challenges that she faces as being in an interracial relationship she told me that the first one is the character difference because they've got two different characters because <laughs> they are raised differently from different cultures the second one is that life can be a bit slow compared to back home if it is weekend we go out have fun and if you're single you don't have kids oh <laughs> it's clubbing it's going out see friends go to the beach you know busy busy life is happening <laughs> So right now in Sweden, they don't have lots of friends. They don't go out that much like it was back home. Plus, she is a mother, so she has got a lot of responsibilities. As a mother, you can't go out and enjoy life every weekend. So those are some of the challenges that she faces. But we all face that. If you are in an interracial relationship, you will understand Zubeda, where she's coming from. <laughs> So dear friends, I have an advice to you before I end this video. Please, if you are single, you are searching, you use this social media platform, also on online dating apps, be very careful of the photos you upload. Another thing that I think you should do, which is very, very important, you are single, you hope to find someone to marry you, you hope to find love, put yourself out there not in a way like a pro no guys but put yourself out there upload decent and beautiful photos on social media or if you are on online dating apps upload decent and beautiful photos on, on online dating apps because photos are so important they are the first thing a man looks at 
when they come across your profile let it be on online dating apps let it be on instagram or facebook so put yourself out there take care of yourself go out meet friends meet people because who knows you might meet someone even outside of the dating app but how will you be looking you should be looking good always make sure you are put together positive and kind because if Zubeda wasn't kind to William do you think she could have got married to William no so give yourself a chance to fall in love give people the chance to love you but at the same time being careful at the same time applying all the advice that i have been giving you don't just fall in love blindly guys shine your eyes i've come to an end of our today's story i really hope you enjoyed it you learned a lot of things if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy it and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this story i would like to know your thoughts thanks to you beautiful zubeda to share your love story guys go follow zubeda on her instagram you can learn one or two things from her instagram page i love you so much guys you are always here let us meet in my next video ciao ciao